Hey, Internet, today is National Quiche Lorraine Day because I've never had quiche before, so they set up this holiday just so I'd try it out. No, really, it's not because tons of people like this stuff. Come on, just follow me to the kitchen. All right, here are our ingredients. Now let's get started with this. All right, first you want to poke some holes in the bottom of your pie crust so that it doesn't rise up. Then you're going to want to give it a double layer of foil so that it doesn't burn because you're going to bake it at 450 for about 8 minutes. Alright, then you want to take the foil off and then bake it for 4 more minutes. And then once that's done, you're going to reduce the heat to 325. Alright, once your pie crust is nicely baked, you're going to want to start cooking up your bacon. Alright, now once your bacon's done, put it in a paper towel and give it some good crunch action. It's going to help soak up some of that grease and... Oh, Bacon surprise! Then you want to chop up your onion and toss it back in your frying pan and don't worry about cleaning it because you're going to saute it right in that bacon grease. Then you want to take your eggs, splash some milk in their face, and then sprinkle on a little bit of salt and then mix that up. You're also going to want to add your crumbled bacon into those nicely sautéed onions. Give that a little mix action. Now toss that into the party. Oh yeah. Give that a bit of a stir. And then you want to take your shredded Swiss, add in some flour, and hey, why don't you give that a toss? That'd be nice. Then you just want to toss your powdery cheese up in that bowl and then give that a good mixing. Now you just want to start pouring that into your nicely baked pastry shell. And of course when you ask for a deep dish pie crust you may not end up with one deep enough so you might have excess ingredients. So I opted to keep all the solid goods in there and just have some excess liquid and also beforehand I had broken off the crust that's usually around the edge here because that's just prone to burning since I'm going to bake this for 38 minutes at 325. Let's get this in the oven. Are you happy now gods of the holidays? I'm finally going to eat some quiche. Let's try this out. Looks pretty creamy. That is pretty good. Look at another bite of that. That is really good. Taste the cheese, a little bit of the milk action, some egg, definitely the onions. Not really the bacon. Mmm. That is really good. I think I'll be eating this more often. Now if you want to have your own bacon, egg, and cheese pie, then click the link below for the recipe.